and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Soul Tie contract to finish out our Throwback Thursday stream today. So what this deck is about is Liliana's contract and Arcane adaptation. These are two cards that um, people want to see built around. And so what I did here, well, let's talk about the two cards first. So we have Liliana's contract. So five man enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, you draw four cards and lose four life. Well, that's pretty awesome. Get to draw four cards, lose four life part. Not so much, but you know, draw four is, is not bad. But then at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control four or more demons with different names, you win the game. That's our goal here. So we need to control four or more demons with different names. Well, if you just kind of look at uh, the demons, we have like Embodiment of Agonies, which is good. Spawn of Mayhem. I mean, even Demon Catastrophe, that's fine. So that's two, three, four with Doom Whisper. That's kind of about it. Bells and Locks, okay. This eight mana, that's way too much. There's, and then I guess Rakdos. There's, there's not... So there's basically like four demons. <laughs> so you'd have to have all of them in play, including having like your your six, like a six drop and a five drop and, you know, four drop and a three drop. You have to have all of them in play and your Liliana's contract in play. So it's basically impossible. And that has to be your upkeep, you know, so it's not just they're all in play. They have to be in play during your upkeep. All right, so basically impossible. So we're pairing that with Arcane Adaptation where um, you can just choose a creature type then all your creatures are that that chosen type. So we can just say, we can play Arcane Adaptation and just say Demon. So now all we need is Liliana's Contract in play and Arcane Adaptation and then four creatures during our upkeep. Okay. So I was like, well, how are we going to get a lot of creatures? Well, we probably want to go green. You know, we have to be blue and black already, but we probably want to go green because the mana creatures do a really good job of getting creatures in play. Um, and so, you know, I just kind of built it like the, the Soul Tie value decks that I've been playing here recently so we have just a lot of different creatures because <clears throat> they all have to have different names right so we can't just have like four land war elves in play um so yeah we just kind of have like our our soul type value deck where we're going to try to hopefully win with liliana's contract and arcane adaptation i like nissa here because nissa you know we can make like a, a an overgrown tomb a creature and then a watery grave a creature and a breeding pool a creature and so like those are all different those are all creatures with different names so i think nissa works out really well um but yeah, that's, so that's kind of our deck. I got a couple of Heal of the Glades in here because I think we're going to be slower, so want a little bit more against aggro. Um, but yeah, we're going to hopefully win a game with Liliana's Contract. This is going to be my very first time to play Liliana's Contract. So there we go. So that's why I built a deck like this, but as you all know, I've been playing these Soul Tide decks anyway, so it's pretty comfortable with this setup. All right, let's play a League. Let's see if we can get the Contract in play and arcane adaptation ah, need some water there <clears throat> well if you're new to the throwback thursday decks i didn't really explain what they are but this is where we build around one or two uh, rares and mythics that are rotating out that we just haven't been able to play and want to play them in standard before they're gone. And so that's what we're doing with these decks. They're, we've played so many fun ones here. Uh, Arcane Adaptation also just works with this deck where you can just, or I could also name it Elemental and just like have everything be Elementals for Risen Reef. So that's something we can do uh, if we have like a second Arcane Adaptation. Yeah, we're going to try to sign the contract. Uh, but yeah, earlier we, we played Apex of Power earlier uh, and Jaya's Immolating Inferno and then we had Crucible of Worlds and the Crucible of Worlds deck was a lot of fun no, I meant attack all whoops wrong orange button Wrong orange button. So it looks like Nexus. <clears throat> we got to just find Liliana's contract here. Because they're not going to kill our creatures. 
So how do we find contract? Probably Doom Whisper. Yeah, I would say Doom Whisper. No, stop! <laughs> oh, I hit the wrong button again. I didn't get to attack Narset. I hit the wrong button again. No, Hawkeye. Okay. Oh, Hawkeye's like, I'm leaving you. It's just like, it's over there. I have I have my oh, mic in like the wrong yes. position. It's like, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't really have excuses. I just hit the wrong button. But it, it was kind of behind my mic. Let me get this. It's like if I put the mic here, it's in front of my hand. We'll put it over here. Wait, really? We just drew a card? Okay, I'm a mess. Well, we, we needed one more mana anyway. Thanks, Easy. Okay. So I'm going to... Not play this well. But I guess I did not have the mana. Because I had to draw the land. Oh, I don't know why I kept that. I had to hit the land drop. Hey, what's up, Easy? Thanks for the sub. Oh, also, Moldratha works pretty well in this deck, too, because Moldratha, you can cast the permanent cards from your graveyard, so you can recast, you know, you can cast Arcane Adaptation and Liliana's Contract from your graveyard if, like, Cavalier of Thorns or Doom Whisperer put them in there, or if they, like, if they try destroying your enchantment, you can recast them. So I need two more turns, which is pretty unlikely that I get two more turns. But I was gonna need two more turns. I didn't, I didn't have the mana to go arcane adaptation and, well, yes, I did. If I, because Liliana's contract would have drawn a land. So I guess if I would have surveilled to Liliana's contract, I could have put them both in play. Yeah, we're probably not getting two more turns. I had a couple of big punts in this game. The biggest one not attacking Narset. That was the biggest one. But then also not activating Doom Whisper was the other one. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. I think you will find Yeah, I'm gonna set the stop here because it didn't really work last I just Went through the whole thing last time. <clears throat> well, that's game. Then you just get... Well... Ugh. Alright. Three S Cant activations plus a Tamiyo activation. Get some 16 cards. And so we're supposed to think that they're going to whiff and not see a Nexus of Fate in 16 cards. I mean, it's possible, I guess. Well, if they're just casting another one, then they have another Nexus in hand. So yeah, they they cast Nexus here. We will c concede. So then they're down to 32 cards. I 
I don't, I don't even know why I'm, why I'm still playing this. We don't have a chance. That's just a waste of time. So even if I would have played that better with getting the contract out last turn, we still would have lost because they <clears throat> had lethal the next turn. So that punt didn't hurt me, but the letting them have Narset for another turn punt certainly could have hurt me there. All right, so we got a couple on where do you go? A couple trophy. That's what we got. We're going to get rid of Yurok. We're going to get rid of Hostage Taker and Chupacabra. Get Vanifar back in here. And get a Ceratops in here. Okay. No, we, we really don't have a chance. But yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess they could have been the very bottom four cards. So yeah, I guess... Fine, the chance is very slim. Contract! All right, here we go, Hawkeye. I'm more focused now. First game jitters out of the way. Got to find Arcane Adaptation. So obviously I can't win next turn. And I can't win the turn after that. But the, the following turn after that, so in three turns, I could potentially win. Already down to twelve. Like hmm. the phases of the moon. Like waxes. Hmm. I know, I know. Oh yeah, I guess the contract does hurt us for four. I was like, did we shock that many times? combat. Do not harm my scrolls. Ugh. I'm sorry, okay. I just make it really hard to play whenever you just lay right in front of the screen and I can't see the screen. Alright, so what do we got over here? Two more reclamations in there. Ooh, I'll keep stop. Hey, Floof. I will not stand for such violence.
Probably no way that resolves, but we're going to try. Wow, that resolved? Wow. I just had two Tamios. So yeah, they're just playing the one Callus Dismissal as the only win con. So that probably means they're dead. I didn't see any other win con, but Callus Dismissal. But I don't, I don't think that Callus Dis Dismissal win con works if you don't have Nexus. Oh, there was a news. Okay, so they have a news. Oh, I should have checked what other bounce spells they had besides Callus Dismissal. Like how many? Like basically how many bounce spells they had as far as like my champ because my enchantments and stuff. To the library. Yeah, hopefully we can handle a news. Where's Arcane Adaptation? Arcane Adaptation. We get one more. Well, we've gone through half the deck now. We're looking for it. Let's gain some life so we can Doom Whisperer some more. Huh, I'm not sure, Eliminator. I don't know. This study is over. I don't know what that means. You have you have Twitch Prime too, Eliminator, so you should be able to use just Twitch Prime there also. But no, I I, I don't know what what that was or what that means. But but anyway, glad glad you're here, Eliminator. And and thanks for thanks for trying. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. They have they have a biogenic ooze and a callus dismissal as cards that can attack me. No more nexus. I hope they just. Rebuy some fogs. Get some fogs up in here. Come on, opponent. Keep getting some fogs. Make it so I can't actually kill you. So I have to go find arcane adaptation and put it into play. The storied past holds our future. Uh, normally, how their deck wins the wins is by taking every single turn with Nexus. They just take infinite turns. That's how they normally win, but the Nexuses are gone, so from here it's going to be really, really difficult for my opponent to win. Yeah, I like it. Or 
Where's this arcane adaptation? We're down to 22 cards. Yay! Yeah, and, and with Twitch Prime, you get... I, th I think Twitch Prime also gives you certain bonuses in different games. Um, I, don't, I don't know too much about it, but there's a thing called Twitch Prime Loot. And so, like, different games, you get... You get... Uh, when you have Twitch Prime, you get different uh, bonuses. They countered my arcane adaptation. That is not acceptable. We're going to have to recast it. Cast as enchantment. The game can't handle this much sweetness. Demon. Uh, cast as land. All right, you attack there. You and you attack there. Okay, so they need a bounce spell, which, good chance that they can find one. They only have 20 cards left in their library. And they got these as cant activations. But we're doing it. We're doing it. We got Lilia's contract and arcane adaptation in play. So it has to be our upkeep. So if we if we get to go to our upkeep and have these in play, which it looks like we will unless they get instant speed bounce. That won't do it. So yeah, it's it's really slow win con. You have to it has to be on your upkeep. You have to have Four demons. Is this Risen Reef Elemental Demon? Elemental Night Demon? Jellyfish Hydra Beast Demon? Whoa. Look at there on the left to of like where it says Hydra Crisis, like the title at the left. See it says creature, jellyfish hydra beast demon. Whoa. Elemental Avatar Demon? Whoa, that sounds pretty sweet. Elemental Avatar Demon. The creature land that's a forest island elemental demon. The forest island elemental demon. No, that instant speed bounce. No. This is the demon demon. Uh, it just says Nightmare Demon. It doesn't say Nightmare Demon Demon. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could play an extra turn spell first. But I mean, that would have a. You need a lot of mana to be able to do extra turn spell and then play it, play these out, and have your creatures and then untap for your upkeep and then win.
I don't even have any removal left in my deck. For, or, oh yeah, I have I have Assassin's Trophy in my deck. I was like, do I not have any removal in my deck? I have Assassin's Trophy. Oh, right. I lost all of my life, so I can't actually play Liliana's Contract anymore. Let's get this elemental demon in here. Yeah, I could I could add rotation elementals for value, but we are we are at 16 cards, so we have to be worried about that. I need to find like another crisis so I can gain life again, so I can play contract again. Uh, so they have 10 cards in library. They also have to kill me in the next 10 cards. They have three root snares in the graveyard. Callus dismissals in the graveyard also. How many Tamios are over here in the graveyard? If they minus Tamio, is that it? One, two, yes, that's their last Tamio. So if they minus the Tamio, they're done with Tamios. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have any way to kill the Krasis. My own Krasis, that is. I kind of wish I would have kept one Chupacabra or Hostage Shaker in here for the Spyogenic Ooze. Wise. But I didn't. Oh, that's that's true. Yeah, they probably should have done that. Yeah. Yeah, they should minus Tamio and grab another Tamio and then minus again. Good call. But then, in, yeah. Yeah, they should do that. But, like, if they do that, they, they'd have to tick up Tamio, which I don't know if they can actually afford to tick up Tamio with how many cards they have in their library. Oh, this is just not working, is it? Come on, Arena. You can do it. Yes. What do you think resolve all means? What is it? Why does it want me to respond? What it? I don't even have any instance. Why does it think I can respond? With what? Oh, Doom Whisper. Darn it, Doom Whisper. Like, I, I would tap all my lands. Like, I would, I was going to tap everything if there was something that they thought I could do, but it's it's Doom Whisper, so tapping all my stuff doesn't, doesn't help. But there's times where, like, tapping your last land or two, just tap them just so they don't keep asking you over and over just helps your quality just improves your quality of life but not the case with doom whisper
They're at 10 cards. I'm at 15. That could be their last fog effect. That could be it. I have one trophy, one assassin's trophy left in these 13 somewhere, I guess in the top 12, scribe one at the bottom, somewhere that would have killed the biogenic ooze. So they couldn't make more oozes. Yeah, I could have got Van. Yeah, that's that's a line that we could do. Vanifar. Yeah, that's a line we could do. If I got Vanifar, I could sacrifice Krasis and then recast Krasis to gain life for Liliana's contract. That may that would probably just mill us out though, honestly, right now. I don't think we can play Liliana's contract. Because we'd have to gain four life. So to you know, draw four cards from that, draw four cards from this. That's a lot of card draw. Yeah, Blast Zone for two kills Hydra. I only have 12 power. Yeah, I think we're probably going to lose this. Played too loose. Yeah, I mean, I should just get Vanifar. I really should have just got Vanifar. I didn't really think of this, but yeah, I could just sacrifice the Cavalier and just grab Assassin's Trophy that way. So I could have trophied this Biogenic Ooze, because I had to get rid of this Ooze. So yeah, I could have, I should have just grabbed Vanifar like three turns ago, four turns ago. Sacked Cavalier Thorns, and then we would win. We would have won. I just never did. I didn't, I didn't think of that. But yeah, I should have done that. You know, I was like looking for my other trophy when I, I could have had that trophy like four turns ago. without this biogenic ooze, they weren't going to be able to go wide enough.
Definitely should have got this elf, ooze, wizard, demon a lot earlier. <sighs> Is it, how many lands do I have as creatures? Just three? Is it better to make those indestructible? It's better to minus eight Nissa, make those indestructible, or make another three three. That's 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm just dead. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, at least too many blockers of the blast zone. All right, well, opponent played this really well, a lot better than I did. I was just joking around too much, not playing seriously enough during the second game, and game one I made some mistakes too, so. It's the thing, when you play like 20 matches a day, like I usually do, there's going to be one of them where I play pretty poorly, and this was it. No, I couldn't get back the Krasis because I, I grabbed the 2-4 like, <laughs> then. I didn't even need to cast the 2-4 there. Yeah, I, I could have cast Krasis later. But I'd already cast a creature. I just made so many mistakes that game. So many. But yeah, that's true. It's fun Thursday. Oh, well. I was too excited to play the deck and didn't really play focus. Oh well. All right. Moving on. This is a good way to ramp into Liliana's contract. We need to hit our third land. If we draw a land here, though, we, you know, we have turn three contract. So can't complain about turn three contract. Got to get a land, though. There we go. That'll do. People are saying the turn three Nissa is good. No, it's turn three contract. Hey, Tony. All right, so now let's find Arcane Adaptation. It is tough playing another contract, you know, losing another four life. I should probably just go Leafkin, Leafkin this next turn. Like, tap land, Leafkin, Leafkin, and just be able to ramp. Having double Leafkin in play. That's reasonable. Yeah, totally reasonable. Well, darn, I liked our chances. 
until Masker Girl Field of Ruin. That was turn four. Masker Girl plus get a 2 2 off Field of Ruin. This is their turn five? Wow. They didn't even have a land yet? I'm just taking lethal here. That's their turn five? 11 lands? And, and sweeper? And 17 power in play? Hmm. Well, that's difficult to beat. Really wish I would have played that game against Nexus better. I think I can really deal with Masker Girl. I don't want these Legion's ends. Hey, what's up, Paragrip? Thanks for that resub there. Thank you so much there, Perry Grip. Alright, well another good hand for us. Our last hand was amazing also and we just got destroyed. So hopefully that doesn't happen again this time. We need to hit land here. Reveal land? No. We need to re reveal land so we can go Cavalier the next turn. So I could just say, I could just adaptation for elemental this next turn. So that like our hostage taker and everything else. An elemental, let's do that. Especially now drawing this land or elf. I get that. That value. <clears throat> the value adaptation. Oh no. If they don't have Massacre Girl, I like our chances. If they don't have Massacre Girl. They need red and black for that. Going colorless.
Where's our lands? <laughs> nowhere, nowhere to be found, I guess. All right, easy. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Yeah, I guess they have no black mana for Masker Girl, so that's good. Now they have black mana. That was a really good turn for them. Finally a land. There's some lands. I probably shouldn't have taken the Risen Reef, honestly. I think I should have taken Golos and, and Token. Because if they play Masker Girl here and just sweep the board, they get their Risen Reef back. I shouldn't have taken that Risen Reef. Uh, well. So we get to see if they have interaction or not we'll be able to win my next upkeep not this upkeep but the next one after that well I guess it may just kill me should have taken the 2-2 not the Risen Reef yeah I could just be dead this field of the dead card Five, ten. Eleven, twelve. Oh my gosh, that oh yeah, that triggers with your rock. That's double. Oh gosh, we are certainly dead now. Uh We're we were already dead though. Maybe my opponent won't attack me.
Maybe they won't attack. Discard more cards. Well, we've done some really cool stuff. You know, it doesn't quite result in a win. So I have eight blockers. So that means seven get through. Seven do, does 14 damage. I gain three, so I'm, I'm at 11. Uh, so if it wasn't for that extra four life that we lost with the contract... No, we we still would have died because we would because the risen reef we would have taken exactly enough to die. Yes, play mask of girl. They didn't see it. They didn't see the line of just attacking. We got a Lily Liliana's contract win. We got a Liliana's contract win. We did it. All right, maybe I should have these Legion's Ends. We really did it. We did it. Oh, I'm so happy. I thought I thought we were gonna like lose that, and then we just weren't gonna get the Liliana's contract win at all, and I was all sad. But we did it. No, I don't have an opponent punt command. <laughs> but yeah, we should not have should not have won that. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to I guess I side out a Paradise Druid or two. Maybe the Yurok. Maybe the Ceratop or the Doom Whisperer. I don't think I have the Doom Whisperer. Yeah, no idea. Arcane head adaptation was a card. Too bad it's rotating. Yeah, that, that's what this that's what this series is about. We have played a lot of cards that people probably haven't realized are cards. <laughs> yeah, kept your rock. Your rock pretty clutch. But how sweet? How good was that? That first arcane adaptation on elemental. All right, so even if we lose this game, we at least got to do our thing. So I probably need to get the contract in play before you rock. Sweet. Not sweet. I have to discard a card. I didn't. I had zero legions ends in my deck. Actually, I didn't bring them in game. Uh, game two. I just put them back in. I just put them in for game three. In game two, I just wanted to try to. Uh, Try to win without him. Their hand was double field of the dead. They didn't just play a field of the dead, get one into play. Agent of Treachery? No. Dang. Three Agent of Treachery? Four Nexus? Yo, we have no chance. 
considering there's a Tamio in play. If there wasn't a Tamio in play, I'd like our chances, but with Tamio in play, we have like no chance. They are going to hit some really good cards. I guess I didn't, yeah, I didn't look at like what could kill Hostage Taker if I hostage takes off. I mean, they have the treacher, the agent treachery. You don't have like a ton of time to look and see if they had any like assassins trophies or anything. But Tamio wasn't really expecting too much. I didn't, I didn't bring in anything for. I got nothing for Tamio. I think I just go Taker. They can minus and grab Masker Girl and just blow up the board. So I have to be worried about that. No, it did not show show it's it's like a bug. It doesn't show you what they actually draw off of Ego. It just shows you like a couple of cards that they have in hand. I think I just cut Muldratha, didn't I? I hope I didn't, but I think I did. I think I cut Muldratha. Opponents usually probably got this, but they could just start activating Golos and they just have four, they have 29 cards left and they have four Nexus, three Agent of Treachery. Don't really see how I can, I can win this thing anymore, but we'll see. I, I couldn't win last game either and somehow we did. We had no shot last game. I guess you do not want to talk. Yeah, I, I could have spent more time working on the mana base and, and made put Field of the Deads in, in our deck as well. The thing is, is that it doesn't help too much for your Liliana Contract Arcane Adaptation because you, you need uh, four or more demons with different names. So, like, you can't just have four zombie tokens and win. Like, a zo zombie tokens would only count for one creature because you got to have different names with them. To the library. Yeah, this is just over. GG's. This is the last game of the night, though, so... GG's. They should cast Nexus and then tick up Tamio. I mean, honestly, they should... They really should have cast Nexus upkeep before their draw step. But I think you will find my notes helpful. I mean I guess they could whiff this turn, I guess. No Nexus or Agent of Treachery. That's eh, not really possible. Because they can, they get to tick up Tamio, and then if they whiff on Tamio, then they activate Golo, so then they get the next three cards also. I have 
learned much from my ancestors. All right, should have called this Arcane Contract. That's a good name. That's a good name. Well, that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. We get we get another game win with Liliana's contract. So that's nice. It's just on the opponent side. All right. See, I don't think there isn't any animation, right? Let's see. Pass turn. Boom. Our th it di it did its thing. So that's pretty great. Yeah, live by the contract, die by the contract. All right. Well, we got to do some fun stuff. Two wins with contract. So yeah, GG's opponent. We got two wins with contract. One for us, one for them. I, I'm embarrassed how I played the Nexus match. That was... Um, under the level that I um, expect from myself, but it's going to happen sometimes. I uh, just got to try to focus more. Um, yeah, that was that was a bad match, but overall, still fun league and or you know just fun fun couple matches there. And we got to do our Liliana contract arcane adaptation thing. As we saw, we we definitely struggled with uh, not having that much interaction. Uh, but I, I knew that that was going to be the case going in. You know, I just wanted to have, like, as many creatures as possible so we could try to get the four creatures with different names and play reliably with Adaptation and Contract and find them. But we got to see a whole lot of cool little synergies with that, so. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Rekt. Thanks, GG's. You you had me game two. If you just, like, game two that uh, Rekt, I, I don't know if you noticed, but if you just attacked with your creatures, you had lethal um with your with your zombies but we got to, but thanks thanks for letting us have the contract win though because we we didn't have a contract win before that so so now we, there was two contract wins in that league one one by us one by you so that was that was awesome um but yeah there we go so we got to we got to do it Liliana's contract arcane adaptation all right so if you're watching the video later on youtube don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there but uh thanks so much for watching